She is Lakshmi. Who identified her? On her 16th year. Because from the time she was a little child, she showed unusual characteristics. Her body would stiffen up and she would lose consciousness apparently and nobody could bring her back to consciousness. Naturally the parents were worried. So, so they took her to see Pooja Sri Chandra Sekhar Saraswati, the 68th pontiff of the Kanchipuram Shankara Pidam. Many of you know, Chandrasen, Sri Chandrasekhar Saraswati is also known as Paramacharya and is an example of how a sannyasi should live. He was an extraordinary human being. If anybody else had said it, we may have doubted their word or taken it with a pinch of salt, but not Paramacharya. He was a walking embodiment of Kamakshi. He was a walking embodiment of Raja Rameshwari. When she stood in front of him, she picked some flowers from a basket and put it on her head and asked him, Don't you know who I am? And from that day, there has been a continuous stream of devotees to this lady in Chennai, where she resides, in a house there is no telephone, there is no car, but almost 24-7 you will find people flocking to that house with their problems. What saddens me, most of all, is we all know that this is the Devi who is here, yet what do we go and ask her? I don't have a job. I need a bigger car. My daughter is not married. My son is not married. I don't have children. Nobody asks her, how can I reach God faster? How can I come to you soon? Okay. But even with all that, yesterday, if you were present at the Deepa Puja, I explained to you in the terms that you could understand in the primordial space which has no limit. She is the other half of the formless one. I'll repeat it again. In the primordial space, she is the other half, the left half of the formless one. That is why I told Arjuna Munti out in the On the left side, Vamu Vake Pahandam Nalana Kaha Yuktam Spatika Mani Vakpa Parvati Shabna Vami On the left form is the beautiful one. That is the lady who is coming. About four days, about twenty Canadians, I don't know whether they came from various parts of the world, but they look like Canadians. When she walked into the room, there was not one eye without tears. Men and women. They had no idea who this lady was. As she opened the door to walk in, they looked at her, tears were pouring down their eyes. Because that connection of the daily that is within them and the daily that is approaching was made without them being told. When she gives you prasadam today, remember, on Akshay you are going to receive prasadam from Mahalakshmi herself. How auspicious could this be? How lucky the Canadians who are here. I'm jealous that on this day she was not in my temple. Please. Because we had some disarrangement yesterday, I'm requesting you only stand up and approach her when they when the volunteers come and tell you, do not crowd around her, do not touch her. Don't make an attempt to touch her feet. 
दृष्टि मात्रे सगदानंद वरदाय नम दृष्टि मात्रे जस्ट बाय लुकिंग एट यू शी कैन गिव यू समाधि ऋषिज एंड देवास है when she comes here she is going to look at you straight with your eyes don't think you can you can tell her anything she does not know one look at you she knows your past your present your future how many births you have had how many births you are going to still have when you are going to reach back to her she looks like a very simple and humble lady she is what's her name Are you Remember she is a lady. Oh, yeah, you, you don't try to outsmart the lady. Yes. Yeah. Oh, you can just go up. Look at her. You are so much more sensitive. Now, like this. Akshay Tilak. Today is a day. Whatever you touch, whatever you get, is going to multiply. If you give another, that another will multiply, and thousands and thousands of people. The satisfaction of having had a full meal. is unequal none of you will experience it because in canada and in the united states in this part of the world food is a plenty nobody needs to starve but back home there are people who cannot even afford a glass of tea for a whole day amma that's a great service that is called matru seva through an organization that she founded 25 years ago as a children's club it was called nandala sirva sangam today it has grown into a multi talented multi talented multi disciplined organization that serves hundreds of thousands maybe even this is sangalpa ninga mele sangalpa the nandala seva samiti trust has several faces one is called suraksha it's a medical foundation where sri amma has established for now nine dialysis machines in chennai dialysis can be an killing expense for people who cannot afford even a glass of milk when you go there you go to any one of the big hospitals ramachandra or velour apollo you must have to spend between 15 and 20000 rupees for just one treatment let's go ahead so three and plus three hundred rupees are you doing food and that is just to cover the cost of the machine oh okay. the rest of it is free kind of difficult to find and treatment is given repeatedly until you are well maybe you can go with me okay she also has established an ent center here in our centro there are referrals and treatment and prescriptions are given free of charge people in india in the part in which she the organization operates that is trivandrum hyderabad chennai bengaluru and delhi people who cannot afford glasses the eye glasses are given free she will give thousand to pair of slippers because in the south of india when the sun gets hot it really gets hot and she has started a beautiful ceremony in the nandalala cultural center which is a temple really where she celebrates chatrotsav and chatra amrana one of the avatars of vishnu Matcha Gurma Bara Hasta Vamana Hor Vamana. The dwarf carried an umbrella. So using this, the temple is decorated with thousands of umbrellas, and all those umbrellas are collected and distributed free of charge to people who have to walk in the hot sun in the rural areas. There are many, many more. What has touched me most is the Bala Krishna Trust that she runs, where over 25,000 children are given a glass of nutritious milk every day. For many of them, that is the only nutritious food they will receive for the whole day. I thought all of us get together 
we can double that number or triple it or quadruple it. Waiting for a glass of milk and a bun every day in the morning. If there's what an organization it must be to create this and to distribute it and to collect it and to take care of these children. That can only come from a mother's heart. So Sri Amma is here with us today. I don't know whether I should say more about Akshay Tritya because she is going to talk to you about it. This is a very important day. This is the day Krishna gave Draupadi the clothes so that her honor would be protected. The Saris grew. Today is the day Parashurama was born. Today is the day Krishna gave Draupadi an Akshay Patra so that this Patra can feed them while they hid in the jungles because of the terms of their loss. Madhavi's daughter, Mani Vaikala, was given an Akshay Patra to feed the multitudes on this day. So this is a very important day. Anything you touch, whether it be great, Dhanya Lakshmi and Dhanya Lakshmi, they say were born on this day. Dr. Dashta Lakshmi, Dhanya Lakshmi and Dhanya Lakshmi were born on this day. So any grain you purchase will grow. Why do you Why do you think they flock to the jewelry stores on this day? You go anywhere in Chennai, I'm sure it is the same in all over India. You go to any one of them. LK's jewelers, GRT Takamali. Hmm? The queue is about 20 feet big. You will have to wait in the queue to get to the counter. Everybody buys gold. The gold will grow, it will multiply. You buy silver, it will multiply. Today, Amma is going to do the puja, I am going to do the puja on behalf of Amma. And you will notice I am still debating whether to put a kalasam. A poor Nagumbam is always placed when you do Swarna Gauri puja. Gauri herself is walking in, why do I need a kalasam? I don't want to do it by proxy, I want to do it to her. So until she comes, I won't know. If she says, place a kalasam, then I have to obey her. who are here, people who, whether you are participating in the pujas or not participating in the pujas. Please remember, when you go to see a great one, you never go empty-handed. Today is the day Kusela was made a millionaire because he took a little bit of poa, you know what poa is? Crushed rice, aval and kept it hidden in a torn piece of cloth because he was ashamed that his, that his friend would know. The all knowing Krishna asked for it and started to eat as though he had never seen the food before. With every, every mouthful that he took, Kusela's wealth grew out of, out of control. Finally, Rukmini, knowing that he might give the whole universe away, stopped it. So today is the day. Whatever dana you give, remember, it's not going to make Amma any richer. It is going to make some little child smile happily after having consumed a good meal. So when you go to see her, if you are going to receive prasadam, give her something. Remember, every dollar you put in here is going to go there as 50 rupees. Can you buy a gallon of milk for 50 rupees in India? Can you? Indian should tell me, how much is a gallon of milk in India? A litre of milk, how much is that? 
All these people have been in Canada for too long. <laughs> Nobody even remembers the price of milk. 40 rupees. How many children can drink from a liter of milk? One dollar. That's not even, it's not even close to the price of an ice cream cone. How many coffees do you drink outside? How many pizzas do you eat? Eh? Yeah. How many french fries do you buy and eat? I hope nobody eats hamburgers. Give her. Always when you go to see someone, you must offer something. Otherwise, that prasadam is not going to be part. See, Devi is going to give you, when she gives, you give back a little bit, so that her vision can continue. We want the Nandalala vision to become very strong and we want this community here, the Canadian community, to grow like a banyan tree and protect thousands of children. We have three vehicles that are parked in the um, in a, in a other parking spot, so I'm going to announce the license plate numbers. If that is your vehicle, can you kindly remove that from, from that area and park it somewhere else? B N D W nine nine two. The other one's A Y Y A five seven five. The last one is B. B Y F nine one five. Can we have these three vehicles removed from the current spot? Thank you. Oh, and we have. Uh, can we have Sumadhi Parasaraman, Saroji Sivakumar, G Gita, Sandra Smith, Rani Chinmay. Chin Sudanthi Tayaparan, Lok Shivakumari Kohila, Veena, go down to red, sorry, Veena, go down to the others, can we just have you guys go down to the registration desk and, and get your uh, gold coins or Mickey, whichever one that you were listed, we listed for. I can repeat the names for you. Sudha Shanmugaraja, Sumadhi Parasuraman, Sandra Smith, Rani Chinmayanandan, Suga, oh sorry, Shivakumari Kohil. Okay, thank you. Instantly she will know. The 
are going to ask me what are the million people do? They are millions of eyes. That's why. Why do you think Nalita says no, say Sahasraksha, Sahasrabhad, Sahasraksha, countless number of eyes. Sahasrabhad, the one who walks on countless number of feet, Purusha Suttam says the same thing. So anywhere you are, write your problem on a piece of paper and put it in front of her, look at her picture, she will know. And then wait. Patiently wait, you will see whatever problem you had will slowly go away. And after the problem goes away, what will you do? Send a contribution to Nandalala mission so that the service continues. Don't be selfish. Just because your problem is always when I go to Nepal, that's what they say. Every day they will come and cry, and once the mother solves their problem, she stops. They forget her. Next time they have a problem, they run back to her. So, what the puja that we are going to do today is called Swarna Gauri Puja. Swarna Gauri Puja. I think there is a little uh, article in front of you, which was written by a devotee and it talks about Akshay Tritya. Unfortunately, it is in Tamil. So now you know why it is so important to learn the language. <laughs> Eventually it will be translated. I have no idea where and how this is going to be done, but it has to be done. So, Swarana Gauri Puja will be performed. We are going to do what is called Shodasa Upachara Puja. What is Shodasa Upachara? Sixteen services done to the mother. It's like you, when you are hungry, you are driving somewhere and you get hungry, you can drive into a Wendy's, order a packet of fries and eat it, it will satisfy your hunger for the moment. If you have a little more time, you look at the GPS and see whether there is an Indian restaurant and go sit down there and order a North Indian Thali. You will probably get 15, 16 curries and you can eat that. That also will satisfy your hunger. That is shown as a Vajana Puja. The first one I described is called Pancha Vajana Puja. That is just five services to the Lord. There is one called Sadhushyakya Vajana Puja. When we do Sri Chakra Puja, when the Devi is invited and we go, we offer her 64 services. 64 Vajanas are done. That is like you finding out a five-star restaurant, going in there with waiters coming out of your ears, right? All the cutlery there sitting down, having a five-course meal, and a mariachi band is playing in the background. That is Sadhu Shastri Bajara Puja. We won't have the time to do Sadhu Shastri Bajara today, but we will do short as a Bajara Avahanam Invocation. Asanam, offering the Devi a seat. Padyam, washing her feet. Arkyam, giving her amrita to drink. Ajamaryam, giving her water so she can rinse her mouth. Snanam, bathing her. In Panchamrdas, what are Panchamrdas? Milk, curd, ghee, honey and sugar and then fruit. How many of you are Sri Lankan from here? How many of you people are from Sri Lanka? Oh! This place is infested. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm from here. <laughs> Panjangam. After Panjangam Namdras, then we will chant you the Sampradharam says that you have to chant from one of the Vedas. 
so we will chant either Durga Suktam or Sri Suktam or Nila Suktam or all three at the time. Then, Vastram, clothing, Abharanam, the jewelry that she will wear, Gantham, perfume, Pushpam, floral decoration, Dupam, insects, Deepam, light. What does Dupam represent? If you notice, Dupam is lit so that unpleasant smells will be quietly dispelled. It is also something that will imprint your mind deepest. If you smell an incense somewhere, and 20 years later, if somebody lights it somewhere else, you smell it immediately, your mind will go back to the place where you smell it already. These days, of course, there are lots of artificial ingredients. In those days, it was hand rolled with picked ingredients, very carefully chosen. If there is something like that in recent days, something available, two or three of them are there. One is called Matipal, comes from Karnataka, you can use that. The other one comes from Kerala, it is called Onam. The smell of, smell of flowers that are very rare. And the third one comes from Puttaparthi. You can get what is called sugar engineering. It's done with natural ingredients. So Dupam. What is Deepam? Deepam does not ask you to be a Vishwamitra or a Vasishta before you come to her. Whatever enlightenment you have had up to that point in time, you have to be there. This is what I understand from here. Dupam Deepam. Then the next one is Naivedyam. Be honest with me, please. How many ladies cook in the house? How many gentlemen cook in the house? You have to have to. See, somebody is putting his hand and the wife is put, trying to put the hand down. <laughs> Okay, be honest with me. How many of you taste the food to see whether there is enough salt? Hmm? Don't do that. Why? If you taste the food, it becomes a system. That food doesn't belong to you, that belongs to the mother. My guru's wife, she's been married, married to him for probably close to 50 years now. Never taste the food. Yet, when she prepares something, it's like Amandava. My wife never cooks, never tastes the food. Food is tasty. When you taste the food, it becomes a system, and your system goes to all the people who are eating the food. If you offer it to the day, it becomes prasada. So, which is the easiest thing for you to offer? Put a handful of turda into the fry, into the rice when you're cooking it. Then before you take it out from the rice cooker, put a teaspoonful of ghee. It's purified and now it has become Mahanayadyam for the day. <coughs> See how simply they have taught us this. Do we follow it? No. Then they go and bother Amma and say, Amma, I have problems in my house. All these things will be slowly eliminated when we do this. <coughs> Mahanayvedya. So, after Dupam, Deepam, Naivedya, then what? Karpura Surana Tampulam. You have to offer Tampulam to the day. And the Tampulam, after Tampulam, Karpura Dhirajanam. You offer yourself to the Devi, that is the meaning of lighting camphor. You must melt it to her, you must dissolve in that ocean of mercy. 
ocean of mercy is approaching. Once the Swarnagavri Puja is done, volunteers are going to come and take few people, the rest of you, please remain seated until you are asked. When you get up and go, whatever you do, people who have done puja, if some people are lucky, Amma is going to give some things to you. Maybe eight young men, young women who are not married might receive prasadam and I guarantee you within a year you will be married. Okay. If you want it in writing, I will give it to you. If you want to find me, come to Rajasthan. find me in And after Prasadam is done, Mahanayvedya, Mahaprasadam is going to be given to you. It is traditional in the Stanam. This location, which is a beautiful mandir, Pandit Ji is going to perform Abhishekam, the Shirling Rapunya. And once the devotees who are going to chant the mantras when Sri Amma is approaching, they can retain their microphones and chant Rudram. At least the first and last Anuvahams. So that Abhishekam can take place. If we start chanting Panchasutra, we might be remaining here till 10 o'clock in the night. Please be conscious. Once you have finished Puja, when you stand up, look down to see whether you have anything left on the trays there or on the ground. Anand, Vimal, if you are around, can you please? Anand. Look around for flower petals and other things, quietly collected. Yeah, please don't.